Hey guys, and welcome back to the Saw Shop. So this morning we have another pairing. So this is the 381 that we built uh, that you guys have seen the, the series on. And this is the Farmac F380W. Okay, and so the reason why these are uh, applicable to compare this morning is just because uh, just adding my build against a already pre-built, basically the whole situation there. So this one's all stock completely. Um, it's fully broken. Um, but the oh my buddy Ram Outdoors uh, 311 had these uh, West Coast dogs, and I run a 20 inch on that 311 because it's kind of underpowered, and so uh, the dogs stick out a little further than I'd like. Uh, so I put it on a bigger saw. So the only difference is are these right here. Okay. Um, Anyway, so we have this, this saw here. So we did uh, some port work on this one, okay? Uh, the exhaust, we ended up, it, it timed at 102, and we got it down to uh, just right under 100, not, uh, about 100, 99. And uh, tra upper transfers left alone, lowered the uh, intake by a couple, uh, about a degree, not very much. Uh, let's see. Can't remember the number on it I think it was like a I think it ended up at like a 69 uh, if, I, if I remember right somewhere in there I can't remember uh, I don't have my new notebook can't blame that one on the toddler <laughs> so uh, and then I lowered the bottom transfers just a bit and uh, you guys can go check out the cylinder I actually did a uh, oh after I got done finished polishing it and all that kind of stuff I did a short on it so you're welcome to go check that out and so let's go ahead and cut to the footage and uh, we'll come back and talk about it some more <laughs> good uh pretty good performance really i mean this one's still not broken okay and this one's broken that's the difference uh it beat it by about four seconds okay uh now there were a lot of cuts okay these were about the average cuts for both saws what is cool about it is the one that i ended up going with with this one was the actual very first cut it did um i did about oh which you don't need to do, by the way, this, this many. I did probably four heat cycles or better, but it's because I was doing other things on the saw and it just ended up being about that, okay? Uh, it, a couple heat cycles is just fine, maybe three. Uh, but I probably did more than that. I mean, I don't know, because uh, I, I was, I was kind of messing with it. And, uh, but yeah, um, really happy with the saw. If I had to nitpick a few things, uh, but this, this happens on any of the saws. This one, the muffler paint's already coming off from the heat, okay? Uh, of course, I have high temp paint that I use. Uh, I always mean to bring that in and kind of show you guys. I'm having zero problems with that high temp paint coming off, okay? I haven't had to bank, bake it at all uh, onto it. Uh, the, it does really well. It's actually made for uh, grills and that kind of stuff, which is, you guys know, smokers and grills, they get extremely hot, and so, uh, I've actually used that same, and, and what it is, and the reason why those paints don't peel and don't come off, I don't know what they're using here. Uh, it's kind of funny that it even peels off. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, and I've seen this on some of the other units before, of uh, Holst Pharma too and such on. Uh, but I even use them, that, that it's it, I call it a paint, but it's more of a... A st I don't know I, for lack of a better word kind of a stain but it's not it, it, it's a paint but uh, I even use them on the cylinders it absolutely breathes if uh, you uh, there's some research that goes into that and it was or rather my I did some research on it and uh, through a racing buddy that did some conversating with me over it and it one of the concerns about doing a cylinder paint 
is that you will blanket it, hold the heat. And, and in milling, that's your worst enemy, you know what I mean? And so you do not want to do not want to blanket and hold in no heat. So uh, I came up with right away, and I had another uh, another guy pointed out to me, which I had just not thought of. Um, so it was concerning to me. And so, but my buddy down the road, he, he explained to me that how these worked, and I did some more research on it. And so, nah, uh, I did some. Uh, I have a heat 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 gun, a uh, laser laser gun. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I hope you all had your goggles on, your laser goggles on. Um, so I have done uh, heat tests on the cylinder while running them. Uh, ones that were uh, painted and not painted, no difference. No difference at all. So we'll see and I'll keep on looking at it, but no difference. It looks cool. It, uh, I like it. You guys know how I like my cosmetics on my, on my saws. Uh, but it's not necessary. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I wasn't going to do it anymore. Because since it isn't necessary and it was even taking the chance, if it wouldn't been for my buddy kind of pushing me in that direction, uh, I, I wouldn't have kept doing it. Okay. And when you do a, a cylinder restoration, it really makes the cylinder pop, guys. It really it just does. It looks good. It looks clean. Um, so, anyway, really extremely happy with this saw. Four seconds isn't a, a whole lot to beat. But it really kind of is. And when you consider that this one's already broke in and this one is not, okay, this one hasn't even had now. Uh, well, I filled it up. What would it be? It's got about a quarter tank left. That's another nice thing about these saws, guys. Look at that. Transparent. Now, that's something else I want to I talk about. Okay, so one of the di some of the differences between these machines is not only the fuel cap, as we was just pointing out, the fuel caps are different. Uh, the length of the machine is different because, different because the fuel tank is longer on the 381. One of the reasons for that change is for you to get to this top cover bolt without removing the top handle, okay? Uh, another difference is the chain tensioner on this one comes out the side instead of the front. Now, the front one is good when I'm milling on my Norwood chainsaw uh, porta mill. Uh, and because I can just loosen up the bolts and get to it and tighten it up the chain, especially if you have a new chain that you just put on. Uh, so that for that one reason, that's kind of okay. Uh, but I, I can still do away with that just to have it out the side. I prefer the side. So those are the differences that I know. The fuel caps are different. The length of the fuel by about a half inch is all. It's not much. Um, and then the chain tensioner. There might be other differences that I'm not thinking of or can't think of. If you guys know, uh, please put them down in the comments section. Uh, but so there we have it. Guys, I appreciate all the sub new subscribers. You guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of new builds here pretty soon. And so uh, a lot of projects coming up. A lot of projects coming up. I appreciate all the guys coming over for, and uh, coming over from TikTok and the women. And... Uh, checking out the, the channel. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate all you guys. Um, we had a small hiccup in the comments yesterday, but I liked the way all the men pulled it together and even apologized for, uh, for, for misconceptions and this and that. And so everybody repaired it. Uh, try to stay real uh, kosher in the comments. Guys, come on, this is a good time and, uh, and we're having a good time. We're living our best life. We're doing a lot of local business. Uh, having a good time. Guys, whatever your dream is, life is short. Get out there and do it. Get out there and do it. Whatever you're passionate about, make it happen. Uh, because there's nothing better in life than to do something that you enjoy, maybe get paid for it. But whatever your desire is, get out there and fulfill it. Okay, guys? And maybe somebody needs to hear that this morning. If you're on the fence about something and you just don't know, do it. Do it. Just push the button and do it. Uh, because um, there's a lot out there for people, a lot of fulfillment in things that we desire, okay, guys? If it's healthy. You, I'm talking about dreams in your life. And so uh, make it happen, guys. Uh, I appreciate everybody and all the new subscribers, like I said, and all the the comments and all the encouragement. Man, you guys are great. I get I get over 100 emails a day, guys 
from from you guys between here and TikTok, and uh, you guys are so encouraging, absolutely positively encouraging. So uh, appreciate you guys stopping by, and as always, stay safe.